Good evening. It is, I don't even know what day it is, Thursday. <laughs> it has been uh, four days since my surgery and um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. I am on Instagram jail, so I have not been able to post much <laughs> Because uh, normally what I do is I save my um, postings from Instagram and then I'm able to um, take it and forward it to uh, Facebook. So a um, couple of things I wanted to bring out. Uh, number one, my students. I love you guys. Uh, I have, you guys have come by and brought me so much food that I'm going to end up working you twice as hard than what I did before I left. And, uh, you know, I'm getting anything from vegetables to fruits to danishes, coffee, you name it, soup. I'm getting everything. Like, I have not had to lift a finger thanks to the loving provisions of my students. Um, both refrigerators are packed. Both refrigerators are packed. Um... I am in a lot of pain <laughs> and, uh, you know, I always hide it. I never like to show people, you know, one of my mechanisms is smiling. Um, but I, I did wanted to bring out, however, that those who know me, uh, ever since I received this Apple watch as a gift, know that I will request anyone who has an Apple watch for their fitness challenges. And in these fitness challenges, I always try to make sure to hold everybody accountable. When you come to my class, I always make sure that you are counting every exercise that you do, including my meditation classes, because that is considered an exercise. And so lately, I haven't been seeing a lot of activity. What's going on? I want to know why is it that folks are not doing their exercises, because I get an alert. Every time you finish a workout or every time you log in a workout, I get an alert. So I want to know why is it that I haven't been getting at least 22 notifications on a daily basis since I've been gone. And, you know, I, 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 like I said, I hold you accountable for everything. I'm not one of these instructors that, you know, get up and leave and don't tell you who's coming and, you know, what I expect of you. I expect everyone to continue working out and doing, ex you know, your exercise. Okay, you know, I, I always tell people don't go into the a classroom with the same mindset that you would have been going in if you were coming in and dancing with me because everybody dances different. I want to make sure that everybody has fun. I want to make sure that everybody um, tries out new instructors, you know, that, that you, you know, widen out. There's nothing wrong with widening out. Um, when you get fixated on just one instructor, what ends up happening is that um, if that instructor does something wrong or if that instructor does something that really doesn't hype you up or what have you, then you automatically get upset. It is the normal, natural tendency for a human being to get upset when you're used to a routine and then here comes some new jack and, you know, uh, you know, is doing different routines, applying, you know, different forms of dancing and you're not gathering and you're not having fun and you're not taking it in because your mindset is not there. So please don't do that. You know, when you go into a classroom. I really appreciate everybody that's helping me out. I had to get over um, 20, I think it's 19 instructors to help me teach my classes because, you know, I don't only just teach at one ent entity. I teach at several places and it wasn't easy to find substitutes. So, um, so yeah, so I want to see pictures. I want to see videos. Thank you so much for those who have been sending me those videos and pictures, um, you know, of you working out, sweating, smiling all together, doing my routines. You know, you have some instructors that all allow you to, you know, dance your routines. You know what I mean? Because, you know, they, they want to have fun. You know, they want to make sure that you are included. Um, but other than that, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All the love and all the concerns, everything, the, the outpour of support has been amazing. I cannot even begin to tell you. So I'll give you a little glimpse of what my, um, leg looks like. You're not going to like it. <laughs> You're not going to like it. 
All right. So before surgery, they had me mark my leg. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I, I'm, I'm icing it because I took off the um, bands and I was bleeding. So I had to take the, the gauze off. I did pop some of my stitches. So I have to be really, really careful because I taped um, my incisions so they don't come open. As you can see, my um, leg is swollen. Um, you know, compared to this leg, you won't be able to see it because of the, um, because of the lighting. But if you, if you look at the leg, the leg is really swollen. So here goes, here goes the knee. This is what the knee looks like. So let me back up just a little bit so you can, so you can see what the leg looks like. It's, it's different in color and uh it's definitely swollen as you can see my ankle you see the ankle on this one and then you look at the ankle on this one i can't really turn it um but it's really it's really it's hard to the touch but um i've been taking care of it in <laughs> the best way that i possibly uh, could and i'm trying my best to you know not let it get infected um it's not rejecting some of the foreign bodies that were uh, put in there so i gotta be really really careful um, it's not hot to the touch, but you know, my whole knee, um, if I, if, even if I limp, show back, let me see if I can, you can, you can see the difference in the leg. The leg is really swollen. So, um, I can't step on it for long periods of time. I cannot, uh, bend the knee. I have to keep it elevated. So, um, even just bending my toes hurts, <laughs> um, just bending my toes just a little bit hurts but yeah so that's what the knee looks like i wish i can stand up and turn on the light so you can see a little bit closer but you won't be able to see it it hurts like heck like this is all swollen all fluid but as long as it's not hot and it's not infected i'm okay with that um this is from the ice pack but um yeah so it's healing up pretty nicely i just cannot put any force on it um I can't stand on it. Uh, oh, I, I I just I cannot do much to it. But uh, if you look at the uh, at the ankle, the ankle is really really swollen. Um, but you know I'm trying to take care of it. I'm listening to my body. I'm trying my best to. Um, actually, this comes off because this is from the yeah this is from the ice pack. Um, but I'm trying my best to keep it clean and. I sit as much as I possibly can so I don't, you know, uh, hurt it. I don't like icing. <laughs> I, it's the last thing I would do. But I have to do it before I go to bed because if I don't, then I'm not going to be able to go to sleep because the, you know, the the foot is uh, really swollen. So I just wanted to give you an update. Remember, I am on Instagram jail. So I'm not going to be able to post anything on Instagram I'm not going to be able to save the lives or anything like that because uh, I think I get access back on August 3rd. They said that I was trying to get likes from a profile and I wasn't, you know, they do anything to, you know, when you don't pay ads and you don't pay for advertisement and things like that, you know, they block you and they use that excuse that you were trying to access more followers. I don't need followers. Um, you know, I was deleting people who had Bitcoin, um, uh, Bitcoin, uh, profiles, you know, cryptocurrency and all this other stuff that was solicitating me. And I also, um, took off some people that were tagging me on, on things of their business and, you know, wouldn't even, they don't even share a meal with me. They don't talk to me. They don't say nothing to me, but they tag me, you know, because I have, you know, probably, uh, 300 times more the followers and what people don't feel people fail to realize is that yes I may have a huge following but I'm nobody I'm nobody and I don't make money out of the following I don't I don't I don't make nothing out of the following if I did I wouldn't be sitting here on this couch you know I have both my legs done I'd have been in some beach somewhere, you know, being some type of influencer, but I'm okay. I'm humble and I'm good. And, you know, I was just deleting people and that's why um, Instagram blocked me until August 3rd. But um, I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> and uh, as you all may already know that when I'm in pain, I smile. I smile. 
Um, but you have a new merengue and a new kickboxing um, song. So get ready for that. Uh, Tanya was nice enough to come over and help me uh, count the beats for, uh, count the beats per minute. And I was able also to uh, fix the song in such a way where people can relate to it both in English and in Spanish. So um, I'm going to, hey, Crystal, uh, I try my best to uh, um, incorporate music that everybody can relate to. And so get ready. I have a new merengue and a new um, kickboxing uh, for us, it's like a strong, but you know, I, I can incorporate it in my Zumba class and also in my aqua class. And I did it all sitting from a chair. Uh, you know, I was listening to the song, um, you know, over and over and over again, counting, moving my hands. I did not move my legs. I did not move my feet, but moving my hands and trying to make sure that I come up with choreography that is easy to follow because you're going to be frustrated. I'm going to let y'all know right now when I come back. You're going to have a complete new playlist. And the last thing I want is for anyone to get frustrated. Why? Because there are people out here that play the same playlist year after year after year. And there is nothing wrong with that. But if I don't change my playlist, I'm going to get bored because I teach more than the average Zumba instructor. And so I don't want to get bored, you know, doing the same playlist five times a day and then, you know, doing it seven days a week. You know, I get tired of that. All right. So get ready. Um, it's music that you're very familiar with and you'll be surprised, you know, the type of remixes that I got and, uh, it's going to be upbeat. <laughs> it's going to be fast. It's going to be upbeat. Um, but I will teach it to you first so you don't get frustrated. And once you get it, then I'll step up on the beats per minute. Um, but for now, I downloaded the songs slow so this way you'll be able to grasp the choreography and you'll be able to learn it just the same way you learn. Everybody that knows my choreographies now, it took y'all a while, it, you know, until you master it and then you come up to the front of the class when I play your song because you already know that's your theme song or what have you. And this is the same thing. It's the same thing. And I know that a lot of yous um, came out of the pandemic and, um, you know, I came out of your comfort zone and came back to the gym, you know, we're going to be forced to put masks back on. So I want to make sure that, you know, when you put these masks back on, if they, you know, mandate us to do it because already DC is going to do it. So, you know, Maryland is to follow. Um, I want to make sure that you're able to breathe, that the choreography is easy enough where you won't feel fatigue and that you'll be able to work out without having to feel um, lightheaded or feel like you're about to pass out. So, Keep that in mind, merengue and a fast, upbeat, if you want to call it kickboxing or strong type uh, song, I got that. And uh, I'll be incorporating that in the playlist slowly but surely. I'm I'm putting things on the playlist. But again, yeah, saw my knee. Um, I'm not doing anything. I need my legs. And uh, I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize that. So in saying that, um, I, I have to have these wounds heal before I can get into a pool. And uh, if you see me in a pool and you hear the music playing, guess what? That is going to be um, some of the music that's going to be incorporated in your new playlist. So I'm just letting you know. Other than that, again, I thank you so much for all the love and support and everything that everybody has done for me. I really, really appreciate it. I wish I could say all of this in Spanish, but I will say it very, uh, I'll say it very quickly. Uh, le agradezco mucho los alumnos míos uh, que me han traído comida, que me han visitado, que me han dado un abrazo, que me han chequeado a ver si necesitado algo. Eh, muchas, muchas gracias. Se lo agradezco mucho. Este, los extraño. Gracias por todas las, eh, las fotos y, las, y los videos y, eh, y todos esos que se han recordado de mí. También así los que tienen Apple Watches, que no les has visto su, su actividad. Recuérdense que a mí me mandan notificaciones de las actividades que ustedes hacen. Y si ustedes no hacen algo, voy a estar llamando y mandando text para decir, hey, Why haven't you exercised? Um, pero muchas gracias. Los extraño mucho. Ya enseñé la rodilla. Y este, uh, espero um, que se me vaya el, el 
the swelling and everything down. So, all right, y'all have a good night. I'm going to attempt to try not to, you know, hit this knee while I go to bed. Well, you know what I'm t uh, tossing and turning because it, it's no matter how much pain medicine I take, it doesn't seem to help me out or put me not you know, or knock me out for that matter. But um, yeah, so get ready. New choreography coming to you. And uh, you're gonna love the music, cause it's is. Let's just say it's it's old school with a new touch. So I'm just letting you know. All right. And there's a lot of instructors in the DMV area that are not playing this kind of music because they're so stuck on or asphyxiated on on learning the same thing that millions of other instructors is learning. And so I'm grateful that Tanya was here with me tonight to be able to um, do this choreography and make it our own and not something that millions of other instructors are doing. So look out for that. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, I don't require an invitation. Um, you know, if you want to come by and you want to say hello and, you know, help me change my dressings and... <laughs> I'll braid my hair. You know, I try. I try. I'm not a. I'm not an expert, but I try to braid my hair. Um, you know, I don't require an invitation. So, y'all have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.